Carla? Hi. Marcus? Is that you? Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, it sure has. So how are you doing? Look, Marcus, I don't really think it's a good idea for you to call me. I'm your escort. Uh, yeah, no, I I just thought maybe, you know, I, I could just call. Is that wrong? I just think it's a bit inappropriate. No, uh, um, you... You're right. No, I'm 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 sorry. I, I, I guess I shouldn't have called you. Well, if all you want to do is talk, I'm sure we can just talk. <laughs> Thank you. There's just something about you, Marcus. I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, uh, would you like to talk about that? Oh, right. Because you're a therapist, right? Was. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. No, I... It, it was my decision. I mean, I guess it just... Um, just wasn't really for me. You're right. That profession isn't for everyone. I th think I kind of just, you know... Got tired of listening to... Other people's problems. You know? Listen to many, but speak to a few. <laughs> kind of like you, right? Not many people you wanna you generally wanna talk to anymore, are there? Or even can for that matter. So what are you doing now? Just things here and there. Nothing really concrete or anything. What about writing? I remember you saying you wanted to do that. You had that book. That um oh my god, I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, that, that political book or something. How's that coming along? It's, um, it's coming. Y you know, it's a <laughs> slow and steady. Marcus, what was the purpose of this call? I just wanted to catch up. You know. Like friends. Don't you have any other friends to talk to? People, um, people don't want to be friends with therapists. They, uh, always, um, they always think you're going to analyze them. Do you analyze them? Well, of course. <laughs> well, then, do you analyze me? Yes. And what have you deduced? You're kind, compassionate. You're an overachiever. When you set your sights on something, you'll stop at nothing to get it. You may have had a rough upbringing, but you don't let that define you. You won't be like your parents. Perhaps escorting started as a rebellious phase against them, but then it turned into something else. It was about helping these people feel something, a, a connection they might have never felt before or ever will for quite a long time. It helps them to feel normal. And seeing that genuine emotion from them makes you feel good. Because that's the type of person you are. You just want to make them feel happy and safe. And they appreciate it. Are you crying? Look, Marcus, I have somewhere I need to be, and I really have to get going. Would you like to talk some more tonight? I'd love to. Okay. Well, I guess I'll call you later then. All right. Well, um, talk later. Bye for now, Marcus. Bye, Carla.